welcome back to Summer Hill. Today, I am doing something completely different, something I've never done on YouTube before, and that is I am doing a thrifted gift basket swap with my friend Mel. So, if you've been around for very long, last summer, I drove all the way to Missouri to see my friend Mel. And while I was there, we celebrated bringing in the hay, cause they have a farm, with an ice cream social. And it was so fun. I did all the decorations. She made the homemade ice cream and we celebrated outside at her beautiful, um, on her beautiful farm. And it was absolutely picturesque. So if I'll put a link in the description to that video. And I'll put a link in the description to the blog post too, so you can go check it out. But Mel and I did have done a thrift basket, gift basket swap. So I'm gonna take you along with me and we're gonna go thrifting and look for some items. And then I will open the basket, the box that she sent me and share with y'all what she sent me. So in order to see what I sent her, You'll have to hop over to her video and check that out. So let's get started and head to the thrift store. store to drop off the box and I had the most interesting experience trying to package it. 
I didn't have a box for it to fit in, so I went to Walmart, picked up a box, and it was half an inch too short. So then I decided to eliminate the tallest item and go with the other stuff, and I had another box, tried it. I had a box, like a Amazon box. I put all the items in it except for that one big item, and it was about a quarter of an inch too short. So I was debating, should I try, should I not try? So I called my neighbor, who's all the time getting Amazon stuff. And she said, hey, come on over. I've got like a bunch of boxes. So I went to her house and I picked up, I found a box that everything could fit in. So I went back home and I started filling out the information on UPS's website and it asked, how much is everything worth in the box? And I thought, okay, well, I know how much I paid, but how much is this stuff worth? Because it's, you know, the question is, is it vintage, meaning it's 40 years old or older? Or by any chance, do I have any antiques which are 100 years old and older? So, the oldest item in the box is from 1949. <laughs> and by the time I calculated everything, Everything in her box, if she sold it or if she was buying it online or at an antique store, would equal about $85 to $100, so depending upon where you buy it. So, um, total, our budget was $25, give or take, and I spent a total of $28. Can y'all believe that? So, I, I spent 28 and she's getting, according to what I put on UPS, about $87 worth of stuff or more. So, let's head to the UPS store and we're going to drop this off in the rain. I just like, it's been so cloudy here and I'm thankful for the rain. Not complaining, but we're going to be delivering in the rain today. So, let's head to UPS store. <laughs> friends so the package has arrived from Mel so let's go get it and check it out okay so we got the package from my friend Mel and I'm super excited I can't wait to see what's inside so let's check it out okay so this is like really packed well <laughs> look at all the tape I mean it was definitely gonna arrive here safely. Oh, we have a whole basket. And there's something in the bottom. I can't get it out. I can't get it out. piece of art um, and it I think it the glass got messed up in shipping so we're going to we'll have to fix that but look, oh my gosh is this not the most precious piece of art look I love chickens that is so cute and my favorite color is blue so she nailed it on that okay let's see what's in the basket I think this is a beautiful basket. Um, I hope you enjoyed this package I thrifted for you. There's a bonus item, the little impossible sign I couldn't resist. This is so fun, I'm so thankful we are friends. Thank you. Love, Mel. Okay, so <laughs> she gave me a um, oh, rolling pin, which is so funny because I originally had a rolling pin in her basket but when i washed it it did not smell good so we trashed it but look at this beautiful rolling pin and i love the green handles that show signs of years of of someone using it that is so beautiful 
Okay, and Mel did such a pretty job um, packaging with this beautiful paper. Okay, so here's a Epicurean, Epicurean guide. Wow, look at this. Is this a recipe? <gasps> it's recipes. Strawberry shortcake. Deviled eggs. Baked macaron macaroni and cheese. Hannah's going to love that. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And look at the cover. How beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay. So, um, and then down here it says, oh, there's something in here. Okay. So, a simple, simple abundance, a day book of comfort and joy. And this, I know exactly where I'm going to put this, but it's a daily, um, quote and inspiration. Okay. And then we have oh, a wooden spoon with my initial. I mean, what are the chances of finding something like that while you're thrifting? And look at the age on this. Wow, that is so beautiful. I have a thing for wooden spoons. So I, I know exactly where I'm going to put this. And then she's got a pretty little doily that's uh, tatting. And if you know anything about tatting, it's like almost the lost art. So this is definitely gonna be used, gorgeous. And then um, a little sign that says, impossible is just an opinion. And that's it. So everything, um, and then this beautiful bamboo basket. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let me show you where we're gonna put some of these things, okay? So let's head to the kitchen because I know exactly where I wanna put these first. And then we'll take these because I've got a spot for them. So let's head to the kitchen. So in my kitchen, I have this is where I keep um, two rolling pins that I have. So this one is this one was my great-grandmother's, and I keep it up here. So we're going to add this rolling pin here. Oh, wait. It won't fit. <laughs> I was going to put this one somewhere else, but we're going to have to keep this. So we're going to put the rolling pin over here. We'll take a few things out. Let's see if we can fit it over here. Okay, so we have this rolling pin like that. This one goes in the drawer. All right, and then we'll put, um, We'll put the M in here too. So some, I do use a lot of these, but I probably won't use this. Um, and I don't use my Ratatouille one. So, uh, but the ones in the front, I definitely use. So we'll do it like that. And then come over here and I'll show you where we're going to put the books. Okay, so just the other day I was thinking, I wish I had some um, old cookbooks in here. So I'm gonna take this junior cookbook out and I'm going to put my abundance book here. And then each morning when I sit down to have my breakfast, I'll pull this out and read a page. And the rest of the time it can sit here and look pretty. And then my little cookbook, I will put up here with it too. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll put it in the front like that. So come around here and look at that. Okay, so um, this is where I was thinking of putting the art that Mel gave me. And I have to confess that 
Before I brought it over here, I was trying to open the back and the glass broke. So I'm gonna go get something and pull the glass out. I've gotta open the back and get in here and pull the glass out. And then we're gonna use it without glass for now. Uh, and I may love it that way. So well, let's go get some stuff and fix it. So these little um, staples here, you push them up like so. And once you get them all pushed back, then you can pull this piece out. Um, which is the cardboard. It's gonna be a devil to get back in there. And then I can pull this glass out. One of the things about this, the glass usually in these old ones is it's very sharp. So you have to be careful not to cut yourself. Okay, now that I have that out, I can put the art back in. And thankfully it didn't damage the art. to include an outro, so here I am. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed following along with me um, while I went thrifting. My daughter went with me, so big shout out to Hannah for helping with this. Um, this has been so much fun. I am overjoyed by what Mel sent, and she is such a dear friend that I was even more overjoyed that we got to do this project together. So. I hope you enjoyed this, um, and please let me know in the comments if you enjoy going along with me thrifting and finding things. Um, if you enjoy that, I will do more of it. So, I hope you are having a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!